Hi guys, it's an absolutely beautiful day here at Kew Gardens, so I thought it'd be nice to show you around the Mediterranean Garden, which is looking absolutely fantastic at the moment. This garden was planted in 2007 and is designed to resemble an authentic Mediterranean setting. And when you do walk into this garden, like all great garden designs, it transports you and you really feel as if you're walking through the hills of southern Spain. This garden is home to a fantastic collection of cystids, commonly called rock rose, which are native throughout southern Europe. However, there's also a range of plant species from elsewhere around the world, such as this Raphaelepsis umbellata, which grow in similar conditions and are well suited to Mediterranean style gardens. The main focal point of this garden is this beautiful Doric Grecian folly just up ahead, which is named King William's Temple, which was built in 1837 for Queen Victoria in memory of William IV. This is one of my favourite varieties of cistus, with these very large pure white flowers and yellow stamens at the centre, like a fried egg. One of my favourite bits of this garden are all of the pathways winding through the borders, which really make you feel as though you're exploring the Mediterranean hillside. This fantastic architectural plant is Echium pininana, which forms these incredible spires covered in flowers, attracting pollinators from all around, and they really capture people's attention. There's a lovely phoenix palm just to the left here, which are hardy down to about minus 5 degrees C. And there's a couple of lovely potted pomegranate plants sitting just in front of King William's Temple here. This is the main axis of the garden, with the temple sat at the top of these steps looking down at this wonderful collection of cistus in full flower. You'll also be able to see a few of the iconic pencil cypresses, Cabressus sempervirens, which really are shaped like pencils growing straight upwards. As you can hear, the bees are really enjoying these flowers. Almost the entire garden is humming at the moment with the sound of bees. This is a fantastic grove of olive trees growing here at Kew Gardens. Beautiful ornamental trees which recently have become very popular with garden designers, but of course commonly known for the delicious fruits that they produce. These trees are of course of great economic importance for their fruits, which are rich in vitamin D, which are often pickled, the whole fruit including the seeds is used to make oil, and they have various medicinal uses. Unfortunately, across Europe, the disease Xylella fastidiosa is devastating olive plantations and we're doing all we can to prevent the spread of this disease to the UK. If anyone wishes to plant an olive tree in their garden, please buy British grown plants, which many nurseries across the UK are selling. The olive trees at Kew grow very well here, really enjoying the sandy soil, and some of these trees are over 100 years old.
These beautiful trees are cork oaks, Quercus suba. They are native to Spain and Portugal and they're a really important economic plant. These trees are the source of the material cork, used to produce wine corks as well as being used for musical instruments, sports balls and much more. Portugal produces over 50% of the world's cork in large plantations with these trees and it's a sustainable product. The cork is produced from the bark which is carefully stripped off the trunk without killing the trees. The bark is stripped every 10 years and regrows and each tree can produce cork for around 200 years with each tree providing enough cork to make 4,000 wine corks. Apart from their economic value, these are beautiful trees with wonderful ornamental bark, they have evergreen leaves, and they are of course very drought tolerant. This is another fantastic tree native to the Mediterranean. This is Pinus pinea, commonly called the stone pine. It's most widely known for its edible seeds, which we know as pine nuts, which are produced in large cones, such as this one. Interestingly, this tree also has some medicinal properties. The sap of Pinus pinea contains turpentine, which is an antiseptic. It's used to treat kidney and bladder problems, and it's also used to treat skin conditions. I love walking through these naturalistic groves of trees. Apart from their aesthetic appeal, Mediterranean style gardens are very practical in terms of maintenance and in regards to our changing climate. Mediterranean gardens are generally very low maintenance and because of the nature of where these plants originate from, they are very drought tolerant which of course saves on watering and is becoming ever more relevant as our climate changes. Mediterranean style gardens really require little effort and give fantastic results. I hope everyone's enjoyed this walk around the Mediterranean Garden at Kew. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and check out all of the other videos on my channel. I hope you'll join me again soon.